New at six, voters could decide on making fourteen and a half million dollars in improvements in Sand Springs. Two News multimedia journalist Daniel Stoltz tells us what the money will be spent on if it's approved. After several weeks of public forums, city councilors will decide tonight on bringing a proposed fourteen million dollar bond issue to a November election. About eleven million of that amount is designated for police and fire, which is currently housed in and around City Hall. Those buildings are, are woefully uh, inadequate. They're small. They have a lack of storage, lack of training facilities. The bond issue would pay for a new 45,000 square foot facility for those departments near Wakaiwa and 129th. Just down the street is River Parks, where city officials hope to place a new splash pad and update some of the playground equipment. Within our parks, we have uh, playground equipment that's outdated and needs to be upgraded to the new standard. Other projects include the Sand Springs Historical Museum, the golf course, and Keystone Ancient Forest. Rogers says if the bond issue is approved, it would raise property taxes, about $129 a year for a $100,000 home. I think it will show that, uh, that we care about the facilities that we have, and it will show that the citizens care about the facilities and that they're willing to step up and, and provide the opportunity through their uh, uh, property tax to upgrade these facilities. If the city council approves the bond election, voters will weigh in on November 12th. In Sand Springs, Danielle Stoltz, 2 News Works for You.